Hello everybody at YouTube land. This is NWI Prepper19113 and this is my entry into the Serene Madness Design a Weapon Giveaway. Uh, pretty simple little weapon I want to design. It's a version of a mace only made out of some recycled materials such as a tin can you take the one one end off leave the other end on and you take several uh, used lids and you bend them thusly leaving us you know there's a, a space there where you can drill a couple of holes so you can then attach them to the can like this so if you attach four of these all the way around you'll have a total of eight blades sticking out then for the inside of the uh, the can well let's start at the bottom here at the bottom you'll have a handle wooden handle uh, I guess would be the the lightest uh, you know concerning shipping and probably the easiest to work with anyway coming out of the handle um, you'll have an eye bolt sticking out of there then there will be a chain from this eye bolt to this eye bolt this eye bolt continues into the can this way, into a plumber's plumbing key uh, and I think you should be able to get it get them all the way down to a quarter inch uh, size at the hardware store anyway you have one key going one way and another one going the other way okay so let me see if I can get this to sit the right way so you can see it if I do this and better there okay so then if you have a nipple going from the T outward and then you have a, a larger nipple covering that slides right over the top of that as a spacer between the T and the edge of the can that'll stop that stop this assembly from moving back and forth then this nipple will be secured with pipe cap. This assembly here will add some weight. Let's see this hole. Everything's backwards. <laughs> this whole assembly will add some weight to be able to flail this mace. Uh, at the very top, coming out of this uh, key, will be the spike, which will be another nipple, which can be sharpened. To a point and by the way the the cap or the lid stays this is the end that the lid stays on on the can so anyway you got a nipple a T and a nipple going out and in between you got another nipple and a T another nipple going out and a pipe cap surrounded by a spacer and then you got an eye bolt coming out connecting to a chain which then goes to the handle and let's see here is a, a drawing for the lids like a 15 ounce can uh, that's, that should work just fine anyway you take the uh, make two creases. Well, first you want to drill your holes. You get two holes for mounting to the can. Damn it, get over here. Okay. 
Uh, anyway, then here's your lines for creasing. The dash, the line, the dash line is the center line. And here's uh, another folding line. So it you would fold these 90 degrees from the center part. So that basically, when you got done with it, it would look like something like this. Let's see. So it's a bladed mace with end spike, total length, uh, two feet, uh, and I listened to the video again, it's three feet. So uh, madness, whichever, however, whatever you feel comfortable with, you're the one that's going to be making it if I win. But anyway, here you have a handle of whatever you're choosing, your um, eye bolt and chain. Another eye bolt and chain. Then you've got the lids that are folded in half. It folded in half. No the hell with it. Let's see here. <laughs> folded in half to, to come away from the can. Another one here. Blade, blade, but they would be facing, you know, outward three dimensionally. And then another one. Here and another one on the other side of the can. So uh now the other thing about this part is if this gets too expensive with the pipe fittings and nipples uh, as I said this was just in here for weight but would you you know if you want to scrap this idea and just use a piece of all thread like okay if this is a piece of all thread you'll go straight across the bottom and just put two nuts in the center uh, to attach to either side of the chain link and then uh, a nut uh, on the inside of each side of the all thread and a nut on the outside of each side of the all thread and that will secure it to the can and stop it from wobbling back and forth okay um, that should take quite a bit of weight off the interior there and it'd still be deadly because it could still slice somebody up I don't care how much it weighs so um, that command tree uh, for the design now uh, everybody I want to make sure that as many of my listeners that are watching this actually enters because you have to go and see the original giveaway video this is serene madness having a design a weapon giveaway not only is he going to build your design if you win but you also be entered into this is number this is whatever you design if you win that does that for him to design he, you're also entered in prize number two and number three let me see if I'm saying that right the design of your weapon is prize number one then he's got another two two more prizes and um, so this is my shout out portion of the video make sure you get over there with your design real quick this is only lasting until may 8th and it is subject to subject to change i'm sure um the other thing is um to uh if you're not subscribed please subscribe to him and if you do don't forget to tell them the NWI Prepper 19113 sent you. Okay. Now for my three shout outs. I'm sorry, my three. Yeah, three shout outs to um, some channels that could uh, uh, stand a little help. There's uh, actually I have four. I have Scott's Redneck 65 uh, Outdoors channel uh, Very interesting stuff, very inventive guy 
and um, I have lots of fun watching this watching this channel. Uh, Smoking Coals Barbecue. Um, if you like cooking in general and grilling and barbecuing outside, that's a channel to watch. Uh, he just got a brand new smoker and uh, sure beats the hell out of my smoker. <laughs> but it's, it's, he just got it, just put it together and uh, I haven't seen the first uh, mule done on it yet, but I can't wait. Okay, next one is Brian Kai, K, that's B-R-Y-A-N, K-Y-E. Brian used to be um, a laser technician. Uh, he's also uh, into UFOs and things like that. Makes for a very interesting channel. And uh, the next one is holly douglas and she is a uh, brand new just starting out and could use a lot of help and she does uh, a lot of the so far um the how to save a dollar okay and everybody needs to know how to do that so you can get over there and say hi and uh, you know sub these people and help them along with their channels because you know i was there at one time too i had none and now I have a few. So I'm sure everybody else is in the same boat. So now uh, I really would appreciate it if you'd get over there and give now them As far help. as what I like or do not like about your channel, uh, there's nothing to dislike about your channel, Paul. I think it's great. You have um, very unusual items that you show. You have a fantastic, beautiful uh, knife collection um, You I like the parts where you go out, you know, spend time with uh, mini madness at um, the uh, uh, With Home Depot um, Where you build uh, You have the little you know woodcraft that you do together you go out to eat, you know, you go out on a town for a day um, You know you're, you're laid back uh, you seem, you know, you get along fine with your son, you have a, um, uh, good following of, um, subscribers. Uh, so, you know, I haven't seen anything on your channel yet that I haven't liked. Uh, then, things I'd like to see you do, uh, if you could, is something related to the outdoors other than uh, what you have done so far meaning uh, something like fishing or flying a kite or uh, I'll just go out and carve some sticks <laughs> make a spear or something you know an atlatl something easy you know and uh, this will conclude my video. So good luck to everybody who enters. And thank you for having this giveaway, Paul. Bye.